Yo, what's going on, Sexy Seven Letters Squad? How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. It's been an amazing week, hasn't it? I hope you guys uh, have had an amazing week slash have an amazing Monday. I know it's a lot easier for me as a YouTuber to be happy on a Monday, but, you know, maybe just, just take some of my energy. Take some of my energy and be happy on a Monday. We're going to play a guy we don't normally play. I'm going to scroll through. Jing Wei. Never play this character because I think she's bad. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she's very bad. But that's okay. I mean, you can't... Like, not every character can be good or else... Or else the whole... Well, okay. I, should, I, I shouldn't say she's a bad character because she's not when it comes down to... <laughs> Uh, conquest. It's just that she's not the best in duel. But like I was gonna say, you can't have every character be the best, or else nobody's good. You know what I mean? Hold on. I want to cancel that. I want to put. I just one point everything. Use my two. Hop out of base. Fly over to God knows where. You can fly really far in this map. Oh my goodness. Keep that in mind. I want to make sure he doesn't get the red buff for free. And by red buff, I mean blue buff, obviously. And I do have Curse Donk going for this first blood. Alright. Honestly, good damage. I'm not mad at that damage. Please. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's not good. I made a mistake and I'm missing my autos. This could be dangerous. Nice shell, but I have red buff. And that is the success story that everybody's been waiting for. When I lock in the Jingwei, everybody's... Talking about, oh man, Sam, you're so bad at Jing Wei and you, you need to practice a little bit. Well, here I am. I'm putting in the work. I'm putting in the effort. And honestly, it's paying off. That first blood was sick. That first blood was so satisfying. I never do well with Jing Wei. And I don't know if it's because like I'm just bad at her in general or... I have a stigma around Jing Wei where I just think the character is bad and that makes, you know, my big old like strong brain is like, well, you don't like Jing Wei. So when you play her, you're not going to have fun and you're not going to do well, which is probably what it is. I bet you she's not as bad as I think she is, to be completely honest. Um, but more often than not, your brain is a lot stronger than you think and... If you don't like the god that you're playing, you are going to do worse with that god. You're juking this way. I'm not an idiot. We land and hit the auto. And we hit the auto. And we hit the auto. Like I said, all we got to do, hit the auto. This is looking like a fiver, if I'm honest. And if that does happen, do not worry. I will do a second Jingwei game. I'm not... I'm not cold-hearted. I am cold-blooded. Because I'm a salamander. Wait, are salamanders cold-blooded? I actually don't know. I think they are, right? That's why they only hang out in, in warm places. I'm pretty sure they are. Wait, what does warm-blooded mean? <laughs> Maybe, you know, I did not graduate college. Not because I failed or anything, but because I dropped out like a doofus. No healing for you. All right. Maybe I should be slightly terrified. Oh, but we got good clear. We're fine. We're fine. No varies. Okay, you don't scare me. You have quite literally zero mana. You, never know who's around the corner. you could poke me. That's fine. I don't mind the poke damage, but you can't clear the wave. And that's the only thing that's important because... That red buff is coming up. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when that red buff spawns and you got no mana? And I got all of the mannequins. I don't need mana. 
I just need mannequins. Huge difference. Can I actually get this though? I'm gonna go this way. You don't do enough damage with that? Please? Please? <laughs> he went for it, bro. He went for it. Uh, you gotta respect it. You have to respect that. He saw the opportunity to dive a tower and maybe get something sick out of it. And he went for it. Unfortunately, I understood the situation slightly better than he had anticipated and have survived said dive slash onslaught of onslaught of terror and i'm all good in the hood i will say i have not been able to take his blue which is a little bit infuriating it's not infuriating i'm not actually angry about it but it's a little bit more or less ideal i should say than what i personally like to do which is control the entire map Oh man, you take the damage. Oh, that crit. Dude, that almost, I almost killed him with that. Because of the crit. Are you getting blue? Wait, you can just see through the wall here? <laughs> what the heck? Did you only do that as Jigwe because of the fact that she's so tiny? That would actually be hilarious. Alright, where are you at? Where are you at? Nowhere. I am going Toxic Blade as my second item, mainly because of the fact that I don't want to get defense just yet. Um, it's gonna back. Very quiet. I'm hunting noobs. All right. All right. All right. I can I can put some respect on that. Uh, I think we can fight now. I think we can hit this. Huge. That did hit. That did hit. Not quite enough to kill, but very, very close. Very, very close. Nice. Huge kill. Gigantic kill. I cannot actually clear this wave. Uh, I lied. I can. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I will grab the Pestilence now. And I'm also... Uh, well, I was going to go Thorns. Was, was what I was going to say. I was going to go... I was going to say I'm going to pick up the Pestilence. And I'm also actually going to pick up a Thorns here. But I think maybe perhaps don't want the thorns here he has literally no healing right now okay it looks like it doesn't matter this is mine all right he is fast he is fast i gotta get something to lock him down and i know what you're thinking then that sounds like a frostbound play to me and you might okay might be correct oh that almost hit me too Might be correct at the Frostbound call, but I gotta wonder what if it's something different? What if it's something different? We cleared the wave so that it puts pressure on his tower and then we go to the blue buff so we can confirm the buff much more easily rather than contest it and then clear the wave. It just basically is much more... Um, much more of a control play when you can get the wave before getting the blue buff. And against a hell, I am all about the control. My damage really is not the best, but to be fair, I do have only an inch of all and a toxic blade and defense, so can't really expect my damage to be all that great right now. I am going to back here. Uh, I lied again, straight to your face. Sorry. But I'm only 150 gold away from finished pestilence. That crit for 140, which is almost hilarious. But I do a lot of damage, actually. Once my itch of all gets stacked up, my numbies do be starting to pump. 
He's got max cooldown, so nothing uh, nothing we can do about that anymore. And I think what I'm going to go is I'm not going to get my second relic yet. I really want... I'm trying to wait to see if I can go horrific. Because going horrific would be awesome. If he doesn't go sprint... But then again, if I just get frostbound, then like... Then why do I care? All right, he has literally no healing right now. My damage? I don't know. I feel like it was better beforehand. Maybe? Can I do this? Oh, I am not doing a whole bunch of damage here. <laughs> but we try, we try, we try. Awesome. Actually worked out. I have... Uh, well, I had a mana pot or a multi pot and a health pot ticking as well as the bull demon. So my sustain is actually relatively nuts. Probably better than his, to be honest with you. I mean, hitting abilities would, or not even abilities, but hitting anything would be sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to do some damage to me. Understandable. Oh, we got thorns. Are you trying to fight me? Oh, please, please. Oh, you're going to get this, aren't you? Dang it. Hmm. I'm going to need a kins or something. I'm going to need a kins or something crazy. I don't think he will let me back here. Uh, you don't win this fight, huh? Let's go, dude. Let's go. Actually worked. So we actually got it. <laughs> I genuinely was not expecting that fight to ever be won by us. I'm super excited that we did win it. I think that's the first ever like elongated Jingwei fight I've ever won in my life. And as <laughs> it might sound sad. It might, it might sound sad when I say that out loud, but I actually think that I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I really think I am. It's okay, though. We got all this coming. Um, I guess I'll pick up the blue because she did take the red, so it's not like I can pick up red. Might as well get something out of the, uh, the on-map buffs. BRB wants to fight. Can't hit any autos. Um, can I have that blue? Be honest. Oh, you have you're you literally are wearing a blue buff. I'm an idiot. Okay, he just threw that he threw that one into Timbuktu. I don't know where that went. <laughs> uh I can go executioner here, but I also want to go Kins, because Kins is like the single highest damage dealing item for auto attackers in the game. So I think I'm going to go with Kins right now. Even though his base HP is like ridiculously low. Kins is going to be really helpful for me in the long run. And sometimes... Sometimes you got to think about the long run. Sometimes you do. Just how it is. Juke this. Uh -huh. Easy peasy. Juke this. Aha. Uh -huh. Easy peasy. You got the vine, which I don't understand because I actually don't... Oh, I feel like that should have hit. Very nice, dude. That Kins putting in work. An extra 200 damage. As well as, you know, the kind of sleeper side of Kins. Normally, people always buy Kins because of the, um, the passive of it, right? Like, people are like, oh my god, Kins is such a good item. You gotta buy it. Does percentage HP based on, you know, how much HP they have. So, it's so good. But... What you don't think about is the fact that it's an attack speed item, right? Like, it gives 25% attack speed, which is not a small... Or, sorry, it gives 20% attack speed, my bad. Which is not a small amount of attack speed, but it also gives you 40 power. The only other item in the game that gives attack speed and power is Itchaval. Well, to that extent. Thank you for the red buff. Appreciate. Knock him up, but also want to do this. 
Good damage. I mean, not honestly, not the best damage, but that's okay. I could use an Aussie at some point, maybe, but I don't think it's that priority because he has divine, you know, I do want to get frostbound. I'll probably sell my mannequins for frostbound. I don't see mannequins mace being that useful or hidden blade being that useful. I don't think either of these will be that great because it's all physical protection. Um, so I'll probably end up just going crossbound for that. Okay, I'm gonna run away. I guess I will just let you. Don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I I, I want to get um bull demon, but the problem is I feel slightly locked in the fact that I can't because he's here. Let's see, he's doing my blue. Oh, he's backing. Perfect. I saw you back and I'm no longer scared to do this. Oh, you stayed to clear the wave. Now you're backing. All right, well... Lucky for me, I also got the wave, so I can get a full executioner on my way to the bank to then run straight down your gullet and go for that phoenix. You do not scare me. I'm four levels ahead of you. No, nope, no, thank you. No, thank you. Clear the wave, and then honestly, dash in, knock up. Just get Phoenix. With no itch of all stack, hitting for a base of 98 is really good. That's really good. <clears throat> I am feeling quite confident right now. All right, he's not going to actually fight me. I'm going to do about 2,000 damage to this Titan before I run away. He does not want to fight. Surprisingly enough, because you would expect, like, somebody would sustain, like, a hell would actually be down for these these longer fights, but it, uh, it's not really benefiting him all that much. I don't know why he went Soul Reaver. Well, actually, I guess I do have 2,400 HP. Kind of overlooked that aspect of my build. I have quite a bit of HP with the Toxic Blade giving 100. Pestilence giving, what, 250? Yeah, that's insane. Um, probably not popping out over here. Oh my gosh, that's a mistake. Dang. All right, well, I did some more tower damage. He definitely can't catch me because, you know, I get all that movement speed from my uh, my one and my three combo and, and the extra distance as well from the dash. So it's not like he's going to catch me or anything. Um, I do wish I got the kill, though, obviously. I mean, if you're fighting, you, you obviously wish you got the kill, but it's okay. Um, I will sell this and start Frostbound as well as actually going a 500 pot here. I don't mind it. Backing? I don't mind uh, not having upgraded relics this game. Okay, you want the blue buff. He is right next to me. My assumption is he's going to come this way. He didn't. Right there. Could have definitely won the game just now, but it's okay. Dang, no itch of all. Hitting for 145 now. No itch of all stacks hitting for 145. I do have red buff and red pot, so it does make sense, but still. Alright, well. There it is. 
he runs away to heal from the fight but while doing so he loses the game i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe i will see you in the next video today love you as always until next time peace